okay welcome on board now let us start creating our actual stuff which will be coming up and this will be a text click here on your new composition and select the text tool i'll select the text tool and place the text you would like it to reveal the video in my case this will be something like tutorial or video tutorial presented by me or or i will just start off with video tutorial video tutorial in my case I'm using the Nexa Bold font, it's a really nice font, and I'll make it of course smaller. I'll go to Align and I'll place it in the middle by clicking this button and this button. If you don't see the Align options, just go to Window and open up Align. Okay, we have the, the text here. Later on in the future, if I want to use this, I would like this text to be changeable. That's why you click on the text, you right click, you select Precompose. And for example, you can call it change text here. This will be very easier because later on, if you want to change the text, you double click here, you double click here, and you can change the text to anything you want. In my case, everything is uppercase, but it's up to you. How would you like this text to look? Okay, so we have the reveal and we have the change text here. Perfect. Now we want the text to, of course, look better. That's why you need to open the effects and presets panel. So I'll go to effects and presets. Once again, if you don't see it, window effects and presets, you know it, bro. Okay, or sister. So I'll use a blur effect. And within the effects, you have an entire blur and sharpen effects panel. And now we have several options to choose from. If you want to, to have a blur, for example, Gaussian blur is like the blur of blurs. It's the simplest, but a very nice blur. But if you tend to, to do for another animation, you can use radial blur. It looks like that. And you can change the blur values like this. You can delete this and select another. For example, channel, radial blur, for example, camera lens, it all can be used. You can use the camera lens and it will enable a blur like that. You see what happens. Okay, I know that I most likely will use the Gaussian blur I hope I pronounced this okay. And Gaussian Blur is a really soft, simple, beautiful blur and you will most likely use it very often, so remember about that one. But I would like to be a tiny little bit fancy, more fancy here, so I'll use the Directional Blur. The Directional Blur, let me up the blur, it's a really cool one because you can animate both the blur and the direction. So I do like this and I'll start my animation immediately. Please click on this stopwatch and this stopwatch and start with the amount of 50. You can of course use another blur, but I'll start it with a strong one. Okay, like that, perfect. And I would like it to be shifted. Perfect. Now press on this pre-composition and press U. You see the two first keyframes which you created have appeared on the screen. Now going forward about 1 second and 15 frames into the animation, the blur should disappear because I want to read the text, finally. And I'll go back to values of 0 and 0. Now let's preview how will this look. Okay, a very very nice blur coming slowly into the screen. And then again it will disappear. And if you think that this is too slow, you take the last keyframes, you place them closer. But in my opinion, 1 second, 15 frames was just about right to reveal the text, stay a little while on the screen and then hide the text. Okay, let's first make the animations and then we'll adjust the keyframes. One another adjustment I would like to make is to click on the change text here and press T like opacity. And it shouldn't be visible immediately, that's why I place a keyframe here and I place the opacity to 0. And going a bit forward, like 20 frames, it should be revealed. So this will create this animation that it slowly fades into the screen. Okay, perfect. So at this point, you should have this text container with the changeable text and on the reveal composition, it should slowly reveal like that. If that's too boring for you, you can, of course, I had also a keyframe at the direction. Press U to show all keyframes and I forgot to change the direction. Or no, it actually changes to 0%, but 0 is too boring, let's make it 
200. Now the blur is a little bit stronger. Okay, this is the animation you should have until now. Now please follow up to the next lesson where we will adjust the animations in order to finalize the text animation itself. Thank you for listening and see you in the next lesson.